55. It's gray. It's gloomy. We have had some good rain coming through so far this morning, and it's actually moderate to heavy down in the South Valley. So with that, you can see how much has moved through, picking up an intensity coming up toward Tehachapi right now, a little bit to the south of the lake. All of this moderate to heavy rain is already causing some ponding and some minor flooding down there to the southwest portion of Kern County. And this is just the beginning. You see how over the last couple hours it's been pushing in. We'll continue to have rain like this for most of the day with these pockets of moderate to heavy showers. And it looks like the worst of it comes this evening as this moisture continues to surge on shore with this Pineapple Express, as it's called, the type of atmosphere river that originates in Hawaii and that's why it gets that nickname. As we take a look at the stream of moisture pointing straight toward Kern County for most of today, then overnight tonight it starts lifting up to the north just a little bit. So we're going to get a break for several hours in the overnight hours and then it starts pushing back down tomorrow. Now unfortunately most of the valley looks to only get some scattered showers but it will continue as some moderate rain at times up in the mountains. We're all looking pretty wet tomorrow around sunset and then the last of it pushes out of the way by this low pressure system that's dropping down from Alaska. So that will start to push it it's cold front into our area and then hopefully by Sunday we can pick up some rain out of this one and it's a cooler system but not nearly as wet as this tropical one moving through today. You see the future cast bringing by this afternoon into the evening hours those periods of moderate to even heavy rain. This is looking to bring the potential of some flooding here on the valley floor. Unfortunately, the possibility up in our mountains of flash flooding rock slides and mudslides can't be ruled out either. Heading into tomorrow again, the valley not getting much action on Thursday, but it continues to rain and be windy in the mountains and then by sunset tomorrow night. The last of it is pushing out. We do look to be dry by Friday morning. There was the possibility as the cold air comes in that any moisture that's left could turn to snow, but it just doesn't look like we'll have enough of that moisture left. But there's plenty of it today and tomorrow ruling out that chance of snow on Friday. You can still see we're talking about an inch today here on the valley floor, an inch or two up in the mountains and then stacking another couple hundreds here in the valley tomorrow, another inch or so up in the mountains. And that's just too much of a good thing. So that flash flood watch in effect for our mountains today and tomorrow here on the valley floor. It's rain. It's tropical, so we're not cooling down very much. Drying out Friday into Saturday. Here comes that rain from the north on Sunday. That leaves us cool for early next week, but then the sunny 70s will be back.